run, and I really shouldn't be stopping mid-run, but I just have something to say. I need to express myself because I want to say it while it's fresh. And I wish I could make like beautifully edited videos for you guys and have a really cool intro and really cool outro. And I, I just <laughs> I have a struggle with that. I, I don't. It's like hard to get that to work for me. But it's very easy when I have an idea to express myself and be 100% authentic. And I wish I could make like really polished videos, but I can't. But I feel like these are real powerful, and this is my voice, so I'm going to express it this way. But I just want to say to everybody, like, stop waiting for the world to conspire in your favor. I, I posted a picture on Instagram today of all these persimmons that I bought, and, you know, I got a really good deal. I got, like, 130 pounds or so for about 55 bucks, which is, like, a little less than 50 cents a pound or something like that. But, um, you know, that's, I know a lot of people out there... You know, persimmons where you live may be completely unavailable. They may cost, you know, two dollars a pound, three dollars a pound. Someone said that in Costa Rica it costs them forty bucks for three kilos, which is like six pounds, which is outrageous considering it's Costa Rica and there's all this other fruit that's really cheap. But you know, like I see so much like scarcity consciousness of people in the health mood movement. Like, oh, you know, I would do it, but my girlfriend doesn't really want me to like do the fruit thing or like you know the fruit's so expensive out here you're so lucky to live in California like you know I I am lucky but on the other hand like <sighs> I walked away from a lot of good <laughs> to come out here and you know I had a good paying job I had a lot of friends back in Texas like life was pretty much set for me and I walked away from it and I'm out here I'm broke as most of the time, <laughs> I have to, uh, you know, scrounge and do crazy shit and forage a lot of fruit and and uh, hunt for ripe fruit and get crazy deals. But man, I love making it work. I love making it happen. And sometimes, you know, when life's difficult, I wish I was back in my cush life that I had before. But I walked away <laughs> past the point of no return. There's no going back, and uh, it's a challenge. And uh, <laughs> You know, that's what I asked for as a challenge. Not every day is easy. But, you know, it's like... It's going to be a long time before you can just, like, drive up somewhere and, and you know, get a smoothie at a, a reasonable cost or, or buy fruit. Like, I have to get up at frickin' 5 a.m. on a Saturday when I'd rather be sleeping in and drive, like, 35 minutes to downtown and wade through a bunch of, like, dirty fruit and people trying to rip me off to, like, get some good frickin' deals. But, like, that's what I got to do. And the world does not conspire to support the lifestyle that I live, but I enjoy it, and I do what I can to make it happen, and I do what I have to do, and I don't make excuses. And, you know, all these people out there just, like, think that, like, I have it so easy or something. Like, I don't. Like, life is good. But, like, a lot of the things in my life that I have, you know, fitness, health, all these things, like, society does not support that it's very easy to fall into a rut and just like get McDonald's and sit on your ass and not work out and and you know complain and then hate your life and it takes a lot of work like the world does not conspire to me working out five six times a week in fact like there are trade-offs I have to make you know and they're worth it and a lot of people just want to complain about how the world does not conspire to them living a healthy lifestyle doing all these things that they wish they could do, well, it's like, make some sacrifices, you know, stand out, don't be afraid to stand out like a sore thumb, like, if it's what you want, go out and get it, because, like, you know, one day the world will be fruits trees on every corner, and, and this is part of my vision, and we'll have a world where we support a healthy lifestyle, and we can be at peace, and, and we can, you know, have prosperity, and all these things, but... It's not going to happen from some top-down legislation. I've said this before. It's going to start with people changing. You know, people like me, and I hope that I inspire people like you to make those changes because it's going to happen from the bottom up. I was listening to Ritual Podcast with Dean Carnassus. If you don't know that, he's like this famous ultra runner. Dude's like a beast. And Michelle Obama invited him to come to the White House, and she said, you know, it's really good you're doing what you're doing because... We can't legislate fitness to people, you know, we can make these little campaigns, and, but like it has to, like, we can't rely on politicians to do everything, like, 
It has to come from a groundswell of, of normal people. You guys got like, guys like Tim Sheaf, who's you know, a world famous athlete. He's probably pretty much set for life. And now he just devotes his life to spreading the word about a vegan diet and health and fitness and that kind of thing because he has a platform to do it. And, you know, people want to talk and say, oh, why should I listen to some athlete? It's like a lot of people listen to him, you know? People don't listen to, you know, whoever is the senator from California. I don't know who any of my freaking politicians are. But I vote every day with my dollars. And I vote every day with how I spend my time. And that's going to change the world, you know? And so all these people who want to complain that it's too hard to be vegan or it's too hard to, like, eat a fruit-based diet or too tired to exercise, it's like, you know... Eventually, one day, the world may conspire in your favor, but right now it's not. And so if you want to make it so that it does conspire in people's favor, be one of the first people to take the leap. Have the f***ing balls to make a change, because the only <laughs> way you're going to change the world is to change yourself. Everybody says they want to change the world, but what most people mean is that they want the world to change. Well, they sit passively by and it gets better, but <laughs> that's not how it f***ing works. Sorry, that's not how it works. So... Stop waiting for the world to conspire in your favor, to be healthy, to be, healthy, to be happy, to be at peace. Start making little incremental changes now. Stop worrying about conforming to some paradigm that everybody's bought into and everybody hates anyway. Like, just stand up and do your thing. And if you're thinking, who am I to, to you know, be different, stand out and... Like, whatever, who am I? But I do it anyway because I'm sick of f***ing living in the Matrix. So, sorry I cursed a lot, but I just had some things to get out. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll check you guys next video.